as you can see in this photograph of uh, Terry Connor, um, he has his sleeves rolled up, and I like that uh, bit of uh, detail. And I'm going to have that on his arm as well. So I need to get some muscles uh, sculpted underneath the shirt first before I can do that because I got to have the muscles continue out to the uh, wrist. And so that's what I'm going to do right now. Time to play with some clay. I have the uh, arm of the maquette behind me here, or behind him, and uh, got a little play on it. I don't want to make it this muscular. I want him to be a little more wiry, but it shows me the muscles in a good, you know, in a round. You don't want to overdo the muscles. As I've always said in the past, I'm not making our Schwarzenegger, I'm making a mountain man. I'm not going to attempt to uh, smooth out everything. I like the sculptural quality of uh, the lines of where I've worked my tool and where I've rubbed and haven't rubbed. I kind of like that. And that'll look good with the uh, rust patina that I think I'll do on this one. The shirts tended to be real roomy back then because it was almost like one size fits all. There weren't any stores where you could buy shirts a particular size. You had to pretty much buy what they had. And so that's why this shirt would be roomy. 
because it uh, was meant to be. I had an outfit made back in the early 2000s for a commission I had to do a gentleman who was killed by the Abenaki Indians in upper state, uh, well, up near New Hampshire, near some lake up there that later became known as, uh, now what was his name? Uh, oh, John Lovell Pond, I think it's called now. It was named after him. It was John Lovell. He commanded a a group of uh, militia that went out to t uh, go after the Abenaki Indians because they had killed a bunch of settlers. And uh, they were ambushed by that lake, which was a different name at the time. And uh, I think Long, uh, Longfellow even wrote a poem about the guy. Anyway, his ancestor asked me to do a bronze of him full length. And I had a gentleman back in New, uh, near Baltimore who is famous for his reproduction or recreated clothing from that period that uh, John Lovell was killed. And he was killed in 1724. And I found out that the sleeves of the uh, jackets they wore changed in length. Um, I mean, the cuffs at the bottom of the sleeves. And I'm talking about a big cuff that would go around the arm and it had buttons on the top of it. Um, I'll, I'll show you a picture of the uh, sculpture here that I did. And I found out that they were different than the sleeves of the Revolutionary War period. So if you were going to do something in 7 June 24, you had to have the right uh, type of clothing. And so I had a whole outfit made for me. And then I had a artist friend of mine pose in that outfit. And the shirts were huge and uh, fit one, you know, they fit uh, anybody because <laughs> they were so big. I think it's fascinating to do period pieces because you learn so much about how things were constructed and how what kind of clothing people wore. I've got to figure out how I'm going to do this rifle too because he's going to have that on his back. I'm not going to put a lot of detail in these eyes. I like the way they are. I do have to put nostrils on them. He looks like he's really intently looking into the distance. 
like he's trying to see any danger that might be lurking down the valley. I just want to remind you that I do have instructional videos on how to sculpt. I got nine instructional videos that you can order and they're all on Vimo. I no longer offer DVDs only because very few computers nowadays are being made with DVD players and uh, my DVD burner <laughs> doesn't work anymore so that was a big factor in me not doing more, any more DVDs But if you want to order some as a Christmas gift, if you order two or more of my uh, instructional videos, I include an extra video that you'll receive a code and uh, to open it and a link to go to on Vimo. To watch it and you can watch it as many times as you want as long as you got that code in the link and it's instant as soon as I see your purchase on PayPal I send you a link through your email and if it's for somebody in particular that you want to give it to as a Christmas gift I'll send it on Christmas Day. To them. And they can get it on their device or whatever. Or computer. I discuss tools. I discuss clay. And uh, I have a lot of tips and tricks in my videos. You can see the link, like I said before, in the video <laughs> link below this video. Description in the link below this video. <laughs> Sorry, my magnifiers keeps on hitting the camera all right I'm gonna come back uh, Monday and work on this some more hopefully Monday I don't have anything planned at the moment but uh, I want to get the uh, other arm done. I want to get the uh, clothing on the other arm to the point where I like it and uh, get the hair going the way I like it too. So all of you have a great rest of the weekend and I'll see you next time. Please give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.